Alright, we got here a hot pan again. So now we're gonna do a shrimp a little bit different. So the first one we just did, we did an example with the shell on and the heads on to keep a stronger flavor. This is like a quicker version, you know, if you want to eat something really fast and having all the sit down with peeling the shrimp, which I think is fun. You got the shrimp, you know, with heads and tail and everything on, shelling on. You're cooking, you're eating, you're drinking, you're peeling your shrimp by hand. I love something doing like that. But a lot of people prefer their shrimp already peeled. So I got some peeled here already. Now we're going to do a sauteed version of peeled. Start with a little bit of olive oil. Well, actually, sorry, grapeseed oil, because that gets a lot hotter and it's natural for flavor. It has no flavor. Get that smoking hot. Again, we're gonna start with our red onions. Get those going. I mean, shrimp, once it's peeled, shrimp cooks so fast. Crab can't go wrong with shrimp, everybody knows that. We're gonna do a little kick again, we're gonna add some jalapenos to this. I'll be on you a little bit early, so it's nice and spicy. shrimp. Keep your heat on hot. We're going to add butter. Get that butter melting. My shrimp we're going to do this time, we're going to add butter all the way at the end to make the sauce really creamy. Because every time you want some kind of sauce, you know, a natural sauce, and creating with all these ingredients that you're adding into it. See how this is going. Look at that beautiful color that's coming along right now. Okay, like we always do, garlic last, because you do not want the garlic to burn and turn out bitter. So, here comes your garlic. Nice and hot, oh my god, it's smelling so amazing again. Unbelievable. Butter, here comes our white wine. You know everybody, you can also do this with beer. Beer is a good substitute. If you like beer, beer gives it a little bit of a more sweeter, bitter flavor, flavor to it. Don't be shy in the white wine this time, you want a little sauce. Seeing we have the sauce right now that's boiling up, you see how that's coming along? We're gonna put the bread on the bottom this time, because this time you want the, the bread to soak up all that moisture that we have in here. Okay, now again, we're gonna add a little bit of butter. It's gonna get the creaminess to our little sauce. A little bit of butter. Boom. Let the butter all melt, so you stir it up a little bit. A little thickness, that richness in there. Look at that sauce, it's getting a little thicker. Okay, we're gonna pop the shrimp out. sauce up here. Pour the sauce over there in just one minute. Now, last we're going to add a little bit of cooked cucumber. Just for a little crunch. Cooking cucumber. I know, it sounds different, but it is. It's going to get that little freshness really to the sauce. Lime juice, some 
fast. There you go. That's our sauce. Cut the pan off. Add this to our shrimp. I want to see what your reaction is to this. What's your what's your initial reaction? It's delicious. I think, oh wow, this is good. Thank you. <laughs> How fresh and how quick something can go with our shrimp. Well, I'm glad you ladies enjoyed this. We love it. Thank you. Thank you. Got the last little hand, the fresh of the cucumber. I know. Well, thank you. Let me get a close up of that. that, that now, what, what can you tell me about this dish? Well, like I said, the thing about the shrimp, as Tom was saying, his comment was, with all the ingredients we put in here, you still eat, the, the flavor of the shrimp still really comes out. And the reason why that is, is because it's how you start and how you build up the cooking process. And you're cooking really fast at a high heat. So you're sealing that shrimp really fast with holds its flavor, and all the other comments that go along with it just, you know, accommodate really the shrimp. But the shrimp keeps its flavor. That's what we were just talking about with Tom. They thought it was his comment. This is before and after. Yeah, before and after. <laughs>